Welcome to Storytime with Nana Pam. Hi everyone, it's Nana Pam. Today I'm reading a Mickey and Friends book, Mickey's Birthday. Enjoy the story. Mickey woke up and jumped out of bed. Good morning, Pluto, he said, like he did every day. Mickey ate breakfast like he did every day. He did his stretches like he did every day. But today was not like every other day. Today was Mickey's birthday. What should we do today? Mickey asked Pluto. Mickey looked out the window and saw his friends. They were walking along the path behind his house. I wonder what they are doing, thought Mickey. Mickey looked closer. Donald was carrying cups and plates. Daisy was carrying lemonade. Goofy was carrying a bunch of balloons. Minnie was carrying a big cake. Pluto, Mickey said. It looks like they are having a party. Do you think it could be a birthday party for me? We better get dressed, he said, just in case. So Mickey dusted off his gloves and polished his buttons. He even brushed Pluto. Finally, they were ready. A little later, the doorbell rang. Ding dong! Mickey opened the door. It was Donald, and he looked upset. What's wrong, Donald? Mickey asked. My favorite hammock is broken, Donald said. I cannot nap without it. Can you help me fix it? Sure, Donald, said Mickey. So Mickey went with Donald. As they walked, an idea popped into Mickey's head. Maybe Donald is really taking me to my party, he thought. Mickey was so excited that he started to skip. Donald stopped near two large trees. He looked down at the ground. There was a broken hammock. Mickey looked around. There was no balloons and no cake. There was just one friend who needed his help. So Mickey helped Donald fix his hammock. Thanks, Mickey, Donald said when it was fixed. Then Donald climbed into the hammock and fell asleep. You're welcome, Mickey said, and he started to head home. On the way, he met Minnie and Daisy. Mickey, Minnie said, we have something to show you. So Mickey went with them. Oh boy, he thought, are they taking me to my party? Minnie and Daisy led Mickey to their flower garden. Ta-da, said Daisy. Everything is blooming, said Minnie. Mickey looked around. The flowers are pretty, but where is my party? Mickey wondered. Do you want to help us garden, Daisy asked him. So Mickey helped water the flowers. A few minutes later, Goofy ran up and pulled Mickey away. Mickey, Mickey, Goofy shouted, tugging on his friend's arm. You have to see this. So Mickey went with Goofy. Goofy seems very excited, Mickey thought. He must be taking me to my party. Look, Mickey, Goofy said, stopping by a large rock. Mickey looked all around, but there was no sign of a party. Why was Goofy so excited? Then Mickey looked down. Two snails were racing on the rock. Gosh, watch him go, Goofy said. Mickey had never seen a snail race. It was exciting, but not as exciting as a party. Mickey watched for a while, then he and Pluto headed home. Oh, well, Pluto, Mickey said. I guess I was wrong. I guess there is no birthday party after all. Mickey walked up the path to his house. He opened his front door and stepped inside. As he felt for the light switch, surprise! His friends jumped out at him. It was a surprise party for Mickey. For the first time all day, Mickey had not expected it. He was so surprised. I do not understand, said Mickey. How did you make a party at my house? And in secret. Hiya! Goofy laughed. 
We are pretty sneaky, Minnie giggled. We took turns keeping you busy, she said. Mickey thought about his day. Donald's broken hammock, Daisy and Minnie's flowers, Goofy's snail race. Now Mickey understood. Mickey smiled a huge smile. Thanks, everyone, he said, for the best party ever. His friends clapped and cheered. Happy birthday, Mickey. The end. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Until next time, Nana Pam is sending you big hugs. Have a great day.